friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on February 23rd, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Looking at here, the last 48 hours on our sun, as we saw multiple C-class solar flares today. Still observing four sunspot regions right now. Those are the brightened, flickering regions. Look at the last 48 hours incoming. We do have cresting sunspot region in the southern hemisphere, which is the left-hand side, getting ready for an earth-facing view, and as well in the northern hemisphere. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing. No major CMEs have been thwarted our way. Pretty quiet in the outgoing position. Another look here at multi-spectrum. You can see those C-class solar flares bopping off. And as well, some pretty large coronal holes that are building. Very active region there in the northern hemisphere. Multiple C-class solar flares coming from that today. Having a look at 171 angstroms, this is where we can see the coronal holes, blackened regions on our sun. We will see an enhanced solar wind stream from these coronal hole regions over the next 24 to 36 hours. We're already seeing a bump in space weather right now as we are just under 600 kilometers per second and have been pretty much for the past 12 hours. Having a look at space weather conditions now, we are under our R1 radio minor blackout impacts expected and as well minor geomagnetic storm impacts. Solar X-ray flux remains in a C range. As you can see, one of these flares hopped up into a close low and moderate M class. Geomagnetic activity sitting at KP4 but was up at 5 earlier today. And have a look at our solar wind magnetosphere movies. Compared to yesterday, quite drastic, especially in the last few frames there, being bombarded by just about 600 kilometers per second solar winds. And this is our pressure planes here, under a lot of pressure right now. Real-time solar wind sitting at 545 we are bumping up around 595 over the past half hour or so. Density bunches have come down. Expecting things to continue here over the next few days. Iswa Space Prediction Spiral showing one small CME taking off towards Earth, set to give us a glancing blow. 27th into the 28th. As well, you can see that large coronal hole wind stream getting ready to smack us around. Having a look here at Lasco 3, showing all of the coronal mass ejections over the past three days. Amazing images here by Solar Dynamics Observatory and as well SOHO. Thank you, NASA and all associates. Happy to be sharing these with daily events worldwide and all of the followers. Schumann Resonance for today, healthy, power of 44, as we were hit by the density bunches. Earlier today, quick look at the telemetry, quality of 10.10, .10, power of 44, amplitude of 2. Now let's have a look at earthquakes past 24 hours, as that's really low right now, eerily low. Start out here with last night's earthquake, Tobilo, Indonesia, during the premiere, that earthquake struck Indonesia. Shallow depth, and then one deep earthquake to report here today, 4.9, just over 520 kilometer depth. And then a 6.8 Murgab, Tajikistan. Sorry, this is the earthquake that rang out during the premiere last night. We've seen many aftershocks through the region, as well a 4.9 here, northern turkey overlooking south american plate sizable 5.5 earthquake here san antonio chile 
as well a 5.3 here. San Antonio de los Cobros, Argentina, 4.7 there. Peru, 5.0 earthquake here. East Pacific rise, quiet through the Caribbean plate today. 4.5 up into the Riviera plate, northern East Pacific rise. And earthquakes in Mentone, Texas have calmed down. Mina, Nevada is the only 3.5 largest earthquake across North American soil. Alaska seeing a 4.0 at Dak, Alaska. Minor seismicity seems to be just continuing, but not growing. 4.3 there, Japan. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Well below average, sitting at about 185 in the past 24 hours, according to USGS. This is a heads up. We had a pretty strong deep earthquake today. And there has been multiple deep earthquakes for over the last little while. Earth is not out of the woods just yet. We've seen three very large earthquakes over the past week or so. This is the last seven days for shakers across the planet. Now let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and the most recent volcanoes. Looking at Popopocatitl in Mexico, Reventador in Ecuador, Fuego in Guatemala. And that's about all that were updated today. And we're only looking at 16 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet right now. So something is brewing. Having a look at satellite imagery across the Atlantic. Large low pressure system affecting parts of Newfoundland scooting away. Big system heading into the middle of the Atlantic. As well, atmospheric river streaming up into the Aleutian Islands and Alaska. Watch for heavy snowfall through those regions as there is a polar outflow coming out of eastern Russia and Japan. Pretty strong system just west of Hawaii as well, heading westward. Still have tropical cyclone Inala and as well tropical cyclone Freddy. Downgraded now but is set to make landfall East Africa and then just swirl around in the strait between the coast and Madagascar. Having a look here at the world weather forecast, starting out here in North America, we do have that mixed precipitation low that is slowly trying to head eastward. As well, we've got a very large Pacific low here that is set to bring some extreme weather conditions towards all of California. Let's put this into motion and see what this low does as it rakes down the coastline. Looks like the center of the low will be making landfall Friday into Saturday. This is where we will see the most extreme weather. Heavy amounts of snow, heavy rain, and severe weather expected through Los Angeles and Southern California. As that system slowly moves into the West Coast. And then by that time, we've got another big system here heading down the BC coastline set to bring in lots of moisture to feed into that low and then by next Monday we've got two very large systems affecting the west coast and eastern parts of North America Canada and the United States watch for a mixed bag of precipitation here with that system Monday into Tuesday for Ontario and then cold temperatures will be following behind that Extreme cold conditions will be whipping around with the polar vortex. If you haven't seen the state of the polar vortex yet, please check out last night's video. Definitely some strange anomalies compared to last year. Having a look here at the long range forecast for BC. You're not going to be dry until the 6th of March. Overlooking South America. Daily evaporation rains to continue. Could be pretty heavy at times through parts of northern Argentina and southern Brazil towards Rio, Rio de Janeiro. Overlooking South Africa and Madagascar and the two cyclones that are currently spinning on our planet. 
Freddie and Inala. Looking at the forecast models here, Inala is going to head south and then west and then south again. But then by that, by that time, Cyclone Freddie will be heading back off of land towards Madagascar and regaining strength and then heading south. So stay tuned daily as these forecasts can change overnight. Having a look here over Europe. Big high pressure ridge over the UK right now, keeping things dry for the next few days. A couple lows trapped in the Mediterranean. Not too much moisture associated with these events, though. Overlooking Southeast Asia and the West Pacific. No major cyclones or typhoons developing in the long range. Daily evaporation rains could be heavy through parts of Indonesia, northern Indonesia. And then we get to Australia and New Zealand as we're still forecasting tons of moisture here towards the Northern Territory and all across the north of the continent. Long range forecast, extreme weather moving through New Caledonia, and the Tonga regions. Looks like it will miss New Zealand in the long range. But some interesting weather patterns across the world right now surface level and upper level much love everybody i hope you enjoy the updates keeping you aware and prepared to daily weather earthquakes volcanoes and space weather leave you here looking at the pacific ocean and all of the systems that it has to bring towards alaska and the west coast of the united states much love everybody again i hope you enjoyed the video if you did Please smack that like button, maybe share with your friends and family. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.